2.8 is looking pretty good. Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again, taking a look at uh, 2.8 once again. We uh, did a little bit of an overview video, just a little first impressions uh, a little bit ago, and I think it's just about time that we revisit the newest uh, version of the Alpha 2.8 Blender. They've done a lot of stuff, as you can see, we can go ahead and, and get rid of that splash screen right there, and you can see the grid is still infinite, it's, it's beautiful, I really do love that, I don't know why, I just really do, it just makes it, it just makes it feel nice, I don't know why, it just looks so good, we have this left hand side panel is different again, like you said back uh, when I put that first video out, a lot of people were complaining about the, about the left hand side bar, uh, I, I could go either way, I mean I like the way it looked, but it was just a little, little simplified, this is a bit different, um, this is like a simplified version of the simplified version. Um, we have all this stuff up here at the top now. Uh, view, select, add, object, all these different things that used to be down here. Down at the bottom, of course, we have the timeline, which is gorgeous, by the way. I have no theme on this. This is the default theme, by the way. It's all dark gray. Looks amazing. Um, the timeline, which is which is very gorgeous. I like this a lot. That's pretty nice. What is this button right here for? This looks like... I don't know. Let's add in the keyframe and see if it changes. Nope, still nothing. Okay, well, I don't know what that's for. Um, the good thing is you can see that we can now add keyframes. We couldn't add keyframes before. Let's do that again. Can I change the start frame? Yep, start frame zero. Uh, we can actually add keyframes. Location right there. You can see a little button, which, like I said, once once again, you can actually move the keyframes down at the bottom in the actual timeline itself, which is, which is gorgeous. That's amazing. I love that. Wow. Um, we can move this with G to there and enter another location, as you can see, yes, it does work, sweet, okay, so it did not work before, it does work now, and we can move this across, so like, let's make the in-frame frame 50, make it 50, and then we'll play it, you can see that it does move, it looks gorgeous, and let's say I want to move this and make it longer, we'll move this to frame 50, and now you can see the cube move slower. That is amazing. Oh, that's so much easier and better than going to the dope sheet every single time you want to change a keyframe's uh, timing. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, we can obviously still rotate things with double R or just RZ, RX. You can see we actually have the rotation changing there on the right-hand side panel. Uh, aside from hitting this little bar open, we can actually do it over here now, which is really nice. I like that. This uh, bar over here, which is what? That, that's in, right? Yeah, that's the in tab. Um, this is a little different. It's a, it's a bit different, actually. I like it. I like the way things look now. It, it has no, it has no border. It's just a complete, like it looks like a widget rather. You know, you can just move things around. I like it a lot. You can hit uh, T and N to get rid of both of those. Um, bring this guy back up. Uh, transform, grab, rotate, annotate. If we go ahead and hit Tab, you can see it opens up a whole new option. I love the way edit mode looks now. You can see it does look a bit different. The uh, the uh, the lines are a bit thicker, I think, is what it is. I think that's what that is. Um, we can add uh, faces, bevel, loop cut, knife, poly build, spin, smooth, edge slide, shrink, flatten, rip, region. All of these different things are accessible right here. Easy, which is nice. Uh, some people were saying it's a bit too simplified, a bit too baby-ish, but I think it'll work very nice uh, for my viewers particularly because a lot of my viewers are beginners. Um, and it does help. It is more visual. It looks great. I do like the way it looks a lot, but as for its functionality, like I said before, I could go either way with it. I do I do think I'm leaning more towards the side of I like it. I do like it a lot. It looks good. I think it's going to work just as well. Um, so we got some stuff up here as well. We can obviously change the pivot point right here. Like I said, all this stuff used to be down at the bottom. Now it is up here as well. We can change the different shading types. Of course, now we have Eevee. Uh, can I switch to Eevee? Or I'm already in EV. Do we have this ability somewhere? <laughs> I'll find it. I know that I will find it. Oh, oh, yes, there it is. All right, so here in the actual uh, render tab, obviously, that's where I should check first. We can change the uh, render type engine to EV, which we are already in Cycles or OpenGL. Like I said, Blender Render is now gone, pretty much. It's just, it's all kinds of gone. But uh, we are in EV, so you can see we have that real-time rendering right here, which is beautifully amazing. I can change that later on. It's completely uh, wonderful. We can add in Suzanne. Suzanne will now be real time as well. It's absolutely insane the kind of stuff that this can actually do and accomplished. That's amazing. Look at that. That's gorgeous. It's just all kinds of gorgeous. I don't even know what to say to you. Um, but yes, let's continue, move forward. This just a little bit of looking at a couple of things here. Uh, I just want to give you guys a little bit more of an update. I love the way solid shading looks too, because it does look different. It looks different than regular Blender before. It looks different and I love it. It looks so soft, you know? And this is material. Of course, we don't have any materials on there. 
um, and then rendered, of course, as well. So we have a lot of different things here. What is this? Switch current view to, ooh, what is, ooh this is orthographic, isn't it? Yep, or there's a switch from perspective to orthographic, which is amazing. Oh, uh, that's cool. Okay, and then what is this? Toggle camera view. That's nice. Ooh, the camera view looks nice. It is solid now. It's solid instead of a dashed edge line. I like it. I'm not sure that I like... I'm not sure if I like it uh, being yellow. There's a little bit of an orange edge down here. If you can, can you see that right there? I don't know if you can... Can you actually see that? There's a little bit of an orange edge, which looks kind of weird. I don't know what that's about. Um, but I do like the uh, the smoothness of everything. This is smooth. There's no... It, 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 that's what it does. That's why it looks so good. It gets rid of the grid. Look at the grids there. And then when I go into the camera's view, the grid's gone. That's beautiful. It looks, it looks so smooth, so nice. I love the smooth edges instead of the dotted edges. That looks great. Um, we can turn off specific things like meshes or curves or uh, lights. That's nice. Wireframe mode, of course. We can get rid of all the different wireframes. That looks great. We can just move things around just as they were, you know, instead of having wireframes around them. That looks nice. Uh, where did I turn that on? Hey, there we are, right there. Okay, so um, overlays. We can turn the grid on and off. We can turn the scale of the grid up and down, which is nice. Um, what else can we do? Annotations, text info. That's nice. 3D cursor. We can turn that on and off. Uh, where is my 3D cursor? Shift C does not work. Shift C is not putting my cursor back in the middle of the canvas. They changed that. It is not working anymore. Oh, that's a bummer. How do I... Can I just use the old-fashioned way, which would be, I don't remember what the old-fashioned way to put the cursor back in the center of the canvas is. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, well, Shift-C does not work anymore, unfortunately. I thought it was, was it in Snap Cursor to Center? Yeah, there we go. Uh, Shift-C does not work anymore. I'm about to figure out, I think there might be another... There's got to be another hotkey for that. They wouldn't just take that away, would they? I don't know. Maybe they would. Uh, zoom in and out of the view. That's nice. We can just go and zoom in and out like that. We can obviously pan around and move it with this button right here. Um, now, really quickly before this uh, video is done, I do want to switch on over and look at the note editor. I want to get a glimpse of that guy on camera to show you guys uh, and get you guys familiar. Just just a video to get you guys' feet wet. Uh, there's no note editor. I'm going to assume it's shade shader editor. Did they change? They changed it. Oh, this is gorgeous. Wow. Oh, my gosh. They changed the name of the note editor to the, sh to the shader editor. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. But this is gorgeous. Oh, my God. This is amazing. Look at this. This is just so so much color. Look, it's the, the default setting for the noodles is set to zero, so they don't curve anymore. Oh, I hated the noodle curving. Oh, that's so beautiful. The default is no noodle curving. It's... The, the, the this dark gray everything is dark gray has the nice uh, color coordination oh look at that oh that's amazing look how gorgeous that is oh my gosh it just the dark colors the very sleek uh, clean feel and just the the nice different color coordination everything just feels amazing that is great I really do love that blend that, that looks that looks amazing blender it really does um, so we can go ahead and just hook up these just for the sake of hooking stuff up. Why not? You know, I just love hooking stuff up. I think that's going to be it. We didn't we didn't take a look at everything. Just wanted to get you guys familiar with Blender 2.8. Just wanted to get you guys' feet wet and keep you guys in the loop uh, on the channel here. I do uh, want up here we can actually add different workspaces uh, differently now. We have video editing. Video editing is still around. Somebody asked me if video editing is still around in 2.8 and apparently it is. It's right there. Right there. You've seen it here first, folks. You've seen it here first. Uh, we can go ahead and take a look at some of this stuff later on, but that is going to be it. We have the different workspaces over here, which I'll get into later. Somebody actually, uh, somebody actually asked me about workspaces before we can get into that a little bit later. But for now, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed taking a look, uh, taking another look at uh, the newest version of Blender 2.8, just to get you guys' feet wet, familiar, and keep you guys in the loop. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. But until then, bye. -bye.